Right now I am in the Caucasus mountain ranges, which are the mountains separating Europe and Asia. And in this video, I'm gonna try to give you guys a better look at this gorgeous region. I'm in the north of Georgia right now, in this town called Kazbegi, which is only 10 kilometers away from the Russian border. And I came here yesterday evening, and from every angle you can see these Caucasus mountains that basically separate Russia from this part of Europe. Today I'm going to this nearby village called Juta, which is supposed to have a really scenic hike going all the way up through the Chalky Pass. With me is Miguel from Spain. To be good. Saw him flying a drone <laughs> and then we were talking about gimbals and now he's joining me for this trek. So the last part of this road requires some bumpy off-roading it seems like, would be a little tricky to do this in a normal car, not a 4x4. We're in Juta Valley at the starting point of our trip and we gotta hike all the way up and see some gorgeous views. This is quite the workout. The views are getting better and better and we're starting to see first ever glimpses of the snow-covered mountains in front of us. So we're in this valley which is essentially called the Chalky Pass and it's a pass that basically goes through all the way to a different region through these huge mountains. But that's a two-day hike and we don't have time for that. The good thing about being sort of in a valley is that it's not very windy here and that's really nice when it's super cold. So there's all these little streams going past the trail and they culminate in this bigger stream down there next to the trail. So we just saw some people riding horses on this trail, which I guess is an option. But honestly, when you go past that initial hike or you have to go sort of uphill for a bit, this is really not bad. It's like rocky at parts, but it's pretty flat. It's a very enjoyable hike. It's almost 4 p.m. so we don't have too much time to go further ahead because it's starting to get cold and it's gonna get dark really soon. We're already in the shadows, but this place is a really cool spot because right now we're basically in the middle of the mountains covered with snow in this grass field with a nice cute little trail in the middle. Looking in, this gorgeous view of the mountains one last time, but now it's cold and time to go back home. So it's 10 a.m. and I'm back in the town of Kazbegi, and today I'm gonna try to hike up all the way to the mountains behind me up there to this iconic church, and hopefully I can do it before it starts raining, but first I need to get some breakfast. So for breakfast today, I'm getting this Georgian dish called kachapuri, 
which is like three times bigger than I expected it to be. So I don't know if I can finish all this. Looks like it's basically just a lot of bread and cheese. This costs like 14 lardies, which is like roughly four dollars. It's like a pizza. It's hot. Tastes very cheesy. Okay, done with breakfast. Time to get moving and get to the church. I think I've stepped on more manure in the last two days here and the rest of my life combined. So if you come here, watch where you're walking, guys. I guess the dog is joining me for the hike. <laughs> This dog has been basically walking with me for the last 20 minutes. He's going ahead and then waiting for me. Okay, so Google Maps is not always the best resource for hiking around this part of Georgia at least. Uh, I think I came the wrong way, like the way the cars come. So it took me like two and a half hours to come seven kilometers laterally and reach an elevation of like 400 meters. But I did finally reach the destination, Gergetti Trinity Church behind me. This is a 14th century church, a Georgian Orthodox church, which is still active. But I think the coolest part about this church, and most people would probably agree, is not the religious significance so much, but the stunning backdrops of this church. I mean, just look at it. This weather is crazy. I was sweating in my t-shirt like 30 minutes ago. Now my hands are like freezing off. I definitely have to put my gloves back on. So the church itself has this really cool balcony kind of area. This really nice vantage point of Mount Kazbegi over there, but that seems to be completely covered in clouds right now. But either way, it's a pretty good place to come and see the region. All right, I think I'm done with this video. I'm gonna either hike back down or try to hitchhike a ride back to the main part of town and then catch a bus back to Tbilisi. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you want real-time updates on where I am and what I'm doing, feel free to follow me on Instagram. That's where I post the most real-time updates as stories. I'll catch you guys from the next one from probably somewhere else in Georgia.